Hey, welcome back. Well, I believe I left off with insulation and it's a little dark in here. It's I think about 6.30 in the morning and the sun hasn't come up yet. But I have all the insulation and the ceiling up and almost all of the drywall and all the ceilings are up. This is the last 4 by 8 5 8 piece of drywall I have to put up and then uh, I'll have a smaller section at the end there. This is about uh, four feet drywall lift allows one person to uh, do this job but it's the stuff's still heavy but it sure was nice to have and I'll be using it some more when I do the walls I'm using the 5 8 uh, because of the trusses are two foot on center and I'm using the green board because of moisture areas that's required Okay, moving right along through my maze. Now room number one. <laughs> anyway, ceiling's up in here. See where I missed my hole? That's really crappy work right there, but I don't do this every day, and if I did, I'd be a little better at it. And room number two, I use pieces as you can see, like over in the corner. I left over a piece of green board. Ceiling's down in here. Yeah, I got a little better on this one. And a little laundry area. Ain't quite finished with it yet. I'll be going back to it. And I have yet to do the, I'll call this the hallway and the uh, water panel. We're doing some more framing in here but for now I have this ceiling to put in with drywall bathroom ceiling is in I'll be doing the I'll be doing the bathroom next after I get the ceilings in so this is where the house update ends for this time so anyway thanks for subscribing thanks for watching this is Steve AZ 711 saying Hope all your drywall uh, work goes well. And until the next video, sure and hit the notification bell. That way you'll know when the next video is up. So until the next video, Steve AZ 711. Bye for now. Using this Ryobi One Plus multi-tool, I'm going to trim a little drywall.